What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're on Fedora 39. So you can see there's a Fedora logo right there in the bottom right hand corner. And today's video is going over what's new in Fedora 39. The release should be on the 31st of this month. Not entirely sure. It has been pushed back from the 21st to the 31st. So there might be a couple of bugs in here that I'm just not aware of. But I want to do this video nonetheless. So the first thing that's new in this is GNOME 45. And I've already gone over the details of GNOME 45 in another video, but I will do my best to, you know, do another one, okay? So we're gonna do that. So as you can see, the theme has completely changed uh, in GNOME 45 and system details will show you that we're on 45 with X11 at the moment. Didn't log me into Wayland, I'll have to do that later. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that's new in here. It's kind of really hard to explain. Uh, it comes with a 6.5. What is it? 6.5.8 kernel at the moment. And I'm going to show that to you right now. You name dash R. <clears throat> and keyboards change. So there's a bunch of other characters and stuff. And there's, there's a bunch of new settings in here. Um, other stuff has changed, like privacy, and it crashed. Maybe that's why it's not released yet. Next is the colored bash prompts. As you can see, there's color here, and it looks kind of cool. So if an error shows up, it's going to be red, and so on and so forth. I mean, that's not that big of a change. Uh, GNOME 45 comes with new core apps, new about panel and settings I just showed you that privacy hub in system settings and improved Nautilus file manager so if Nautilus opens which it did yay you could see that it looks completely different this is what it looks like when I use white sir and I like that it adapted that from the theme that I used and it looks pretty great there's a bunch of design so uh, over here in the sidebar instead of being over on the opposite side over here, which is really nice. So it looks really, really, really sleek. I'm glad they moved the hamburger menu over here because it kind of just completes the look. Next, it has the new image viewer, which is right where? Here. So this is called Eye of something or other. Eye of Gnome or no, Lupe image viewer. Yeah, Lupe Image Viewer. And it's not very good. Here, let's just take a picture real quick. It's missing a lot of core features, but uh, it does perform ridiculously fast. The zooming in and out, full screen, uh, hamburger menu, set as desktop background, rotate, print, open with, new window, you know. Uh, this is a copy button, copy to clipboard. Well, it's an okay app. The next thing, I already showed you that. Uh, privacy settings. I wonder if we can actually get to viewing that. Let's try that. Settings. It opened. We're in privacy. Good, good. So this got an overhaul. It added things like screen lock, location services. There's just a whole bunch of new stuff in here. All right. So... There is a new variant uh, of Fedora, and I'm not running it, but the new variant of Fedora is a budgie flavored Fedora. It's called Fedora Onyx, and it's a mutable version of Fedora. And I'm actually completely not a fan of it for my own personal reasons, because I don't like budgie. It's like a, uh, a broken version of Gnome. It's what it feels like. It doesn't... It's not quick, it's not modern, it doesn't feel good to use. You know what I mean? Open with Image Viewer. So this is what it looks like in a nutshell. As you can see, Budgie Control Center looks like the GNOME Control Center. It's basically just GNOME, but for Windows, like Windows users. Windows users, yeah, I guess I could just put it like that. Drop. Fedora repos modular by default. So application updates, trust me, this is a very quick video. 
Uh, LibreOffice is now 7.6, Python's 3.12, RPM's 4.19, Vagrant's 2.3, Perl's 5.3, LLVM is 17, Golang is 1.21, and Font Awesome is now 6. Oh, other improvements is when you boot up the ISO, you're going to notice that it's going to basically say install Fedora or not now. And that's just the new thing. And it's, uh, it's kind of nifty, I guess. I have a preview of it here for you to see. Eh, they're trying to be a little more friendly, I guess, and that's what it looks like. Not bad. Not bad at all. The new installer will not be coming for a while. For maybe maybe Fedora 41, if they can get it working good by then. It's not a good installer by any means. But yeah. Now, uh, no custom Qt theming for Fedora Workstation. The Qt application will stick to the default theme settings with Qt Upstream. Enabling auto update in Fedora Kenote. I don't know how to say that. Variant. Changing the way flat packs for Fedora is built without modules. So, and that's it. Not much to go on, really. Uh, it's been a small minor update. I think the biggest thing about Fedora 39 is GNOME 45 and the many massive amounts of changes that that made. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, do all the cool stuff, and I'll see you next time.